In this video, I'll be covering how to set up wireless functionality for Bali cameras through the Windows BMC Config desktop application. You can download the BMC Config application on our website in the download section. There will be a link to our website and downloads page in the video description below. Before we get into the Windows application, you will need a 3G GSM SIM card that has SMS, MMS, and data activated on the SIM card. You will also need an SD card with a Category 10 rating. Go ahead and insert the SD card directly into your computer if it has an SD card slot or plug that SD card into the camera and then the camera, camera directly into the computer through mini USB cable that was included with the camera. Once you have all that set up and the BMC config application installed onto your computer, open up the application and select the camera model that you're going to be setting up wireless functionality for. So once you have that camera selected, go ahead and press OK. And that's going to open up a larger window that has all the settings needed to get that wireless functionality going for you. So the first area you're going to want to work on is the WAP slash internet settings. Go ahead and select your country. Once you select your country, some preset cellular carriers are going to pop up and others is going to be here as well if you don't see your specific cellular carrier. So if you don't see your carrier and you select others, a blank window is going to pop up and a red asterisk is going to be in the fields of needed information. So for the MMS URL, MMS APN and port number, MMS IP and GPRS APN, all of those settings are going to be through your cellular carrier. For every carrier, these settings are different. So you're going to want to contact your cellular carrier directly for these, these uh, settings, or you can go to their webpage and typically you'll find this information in their support or help section. You're also going to need your email address under the send email address, the email password under send email password, possibly the send email server, and then the GPRS port number and all that is uh, settings for your email service provider. So let me exit out of this and I'm going to select one of the presets. And as you can see, this already has a lot of that information installed. So you got the MMS URL, the MMS APR and port number, MMS IP, and then the GPRS APN. All the settings that were associated with the cellular carrier are already preloaded into this for me. Let me go ahead and put in the email address information real quick. And as you can see, when I use gmail.com, since that's a more common email address, the application auto-populated the sent email server and the GPRS port number. Now, if you're using a lesser known email address or you're using a work email address, the send email server and the GPRS port number are probably not going to auto-populate in there for you but you can find that information just like the cellular carrier information. Um, you'll go to the email service providers webpage and look in the support and help sections and you should be able to find the send email server and the GPRS port number. If you're entering in a work email, you'll wanna get in contact with your IT department or whoever runs your email addresses and maintains them. They should have that information for you. So once you have all the needed information where the red asterisks are located, you go ahead and press okay and it's gonna ask you if you want to save all the WAP and internet parameters. Press okay, you should get a save success. Press okay, and now that part of the settings is done. You'll notice the email address you put in in the WAP and internet settings auto-populates into your receive email here. The next piece of information you'll want to enter in is your admin number. And all the admin number is is the the phone number associated with the cellular device that you want the pictures the camera is taking to be sent to. So let me go ahead and put in a phone number here. And that's all you have to do there. You can enter in more phone numbers and more email addresses if you want the pictures to be sent to multiple emails and phone numbers. But keep in mind, every phone number and email address that you put in here, the phone sends to and it uses data. And depending on your plan, it might use up the plan. So be mindful of that. 
Another section in here is the camera settings. Now this has nothing to do with the wireless setup. So if you're only concerned about the wireless setup, you don't have to worry about the camera settings. But when you do go into camera settings, it's gonna list just all the basic settings that you find when you're scrolling through the camera itself. So like photo size, time-lapse, PIR, PIR trigger, video length, photo burst, things like that that you typically set up in the camera itself. But you do have the option here to set it all up at once if you choose to. So once everything's set up here, you're gonna to want to click on the above the save option. There's a window here that shows you all of the options to save the actual information to. You're gonna to wanna to make sure you select the SD card. And on my computer, I know it's the H drive. Typically the C drive is going to be your internal hard drive and anything after that is going to be all your external drives, SD cards, memory cards, whatever you might have in your computer. So just make sure you have the SD card selected before you click save, because if you don't, the information is not gonna move on to the SD card. You're gonna plug the SD card into the camera and then none of those settings are gonna show up. So just make sure you have the right hard drive set up here for that. You go ahead and click save. It's gonna ask you if you wanna save all the parameters click OK. You should get a safe success. And that's it for wireless setup on the, the BMC config desktop application. Once all this is done, you're going to remove the SD card from your computer and put it into the camera. You're then going to turn the camera on into setup mode and then wait for the camera and the SIM card to recognize each other and recognize the network and move from there. If you already have the SIM card in the camera and you had the camera plugged directly into the computer, just go ahead and unplug the computer from the USB cable, turn the camera on into setup mode, and then the same thing will happen. You'll wait for the SIM card and the camera to recognize each other and then the SIM card to connect to the, the cellular network.